Next on our menu, Ayo Media Dekunle, 100 level students of Ladoke, Akintola University of Technology, Ogbomosho, or your state, Southwest Nigeria, has created G Robot, an educational robot prototype. He says he wants to take the educational sector in Nigeria to a notch higher and help teachers facilitate learning in the classroom. Letter A stands for B for B. Ayomide, who is also an indigenous of Oyo, says he started building technological gadgets when he was in senior secondary school using scrap materials. Hi, G Robot. Mm -hmm. Have you eaten this morning? <laughs> really? <laughs> he says his desire to not be left out in the future of work, being revolutionized by artificial intelligence, motivated him to build G robots. He believes the increased use of machines in classrooms and other service areas globally can also be adopted in Nigeria. The reason behind this project is that the world is moving towards robotics and artificial intelligence. And most advanced countries now, they have started making use of robots to teach in the classroom. Imagine when students see a robot teaching them in the classroom. When primary school students see a robot teaching them in the classroom, the enthusiasm to learn will be instilled in them and they will be willing to learn. Another benefit of this robot is that it will prepare the students for the future of education, which is robotics and artificial intelligence. So I believe Nigeria as a country should not be left behind in this technology, and that is why I designed G-Robots. It has an amazing feature that you can communicate with the, the robots, and the robots will respond to the question that you ask. I'll make a demonstration of how it works now. Hello, G-Robots, how are you doing? I'm fine. G-Robots, can you tell us what the English alphabet stands for? Okay. Letter A stands for Apple. B for B. C for Cat. D for Dog. E for Everybody. Okay, thank you very much. G robot, what is it now? G robot, who is the president of Nigeria? President Ayamide mentions it wants to build G robot beyond the prototype stage. The major challenge I'm having on this project, G robot, is financial support. This is so because it's still a prototype. And the reason why it's still a prototype is because there is no enough funds to progress with the project. Ayamide is currently studying animal production and health in Lautech, but dreams of starting his own tech company, which he intends to name G Group. Artificial intelligence and robotics.